Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we want to learn how to use the new let function made available to Office 365 Insiders subscribers just yesterday. Let's get started. Now we have this very sample data. We have this company XYZ Computer Group. So what we actually want to do is they have all these computer components to actually produce. Okay. And we actually want to calculate the estimated hours required to produce each of the components based on the classic project management technique of most pessimistic, most likely, and most optimistic. So we're going to use the traditional sum product function as well as the new let function to achieve this. So let's start. So click inside cell A3. I'm going to start by typing sum product. Okay. So I'm going to open in brackets and I'm going to take all this, then multiply by the weightings, okay, which is two, six, four for each of the technique. So I'm going to log this up, then close that, divide by the sum of the weightings. So I'm going to log that up again, close my sum product the first bracket then the sum product enter so it will actually take 93 hours to produce the first component which is the motherboard so when i copy the formula down you can see that it will take 1494 hours to complete the whole component now this is how to use the sum product let's see the new let function so i'm going to start by typing let okay let's see definition it assigns calculation results to names useful for storing intermediate calculations and values by defining names inside the formula within the scope of the let function so let's see we have one two three compulsory argument and other optional arguments now the name i'm going to split up i'm going to call this you know units okay which is going to be stored in the memory then select this my value comma so for calculation or name two I'm going to call that weightings and comma. So for name value two, I'm going to select all this, then apply absolute comma. The next argument calculation of name three. Now in this case, I'm going to use the sum function. Then I'm going to multiply the unit times the weightings. Okay, and I close that up. Now, the next one is I'm going to put a comma. Okay, sorry, I'm going to put my four slash or divide by the sum of the weightings. Then close and close my let. So when I hit enter, can you see that? That makes sense. So we actually arrive at the same you know, answer. So let's copy down the formula. So wow, we can see that it's actually going to take us 1,494 total estimated hour to produce all these components. So we've seen how to use the sum product and the new let function. This is absolutely magic and wonderful. So this is actually available, as I said earlier on, to insiders, subscribers. Okay, thank you for watching my video and bye for now.